Is that Woody? Okay. Let's go! Woody. Woody. Did you say I love him? I love him. <laughs> Do you see Woody? Woody! Hey, howdy, hey! I'm Sheriff Woody. Yeah. Come on in! I can't wait for the rest of the toys to meet you. So let's say you have a one-year-old, one and a half year old, and you're wondering, is Toy Story Land worth it? Well, we happened to go and take little Jack the other day, and he had an absolute blast. <laughs> He's been watching Toy Story for like his entire life, the whole 1.5 years, and we had to take him. You see Woody? Oh. <laughs> Samantha's favorite place is Disney World and she lives vicariously through taking little Jack again. So we took him and I'll tell you the the look on his face when he saw Woody was amazing. We took him there during the summer and if you're wondering what's the park like when it's summer in, in Central Florida, well, it's hot. And that was probably one of the things that uh, caught my eye the most was there was nowhere to get out of the sun. And we were stuck in the big long lines while we were waiting to go uh, on the rides. And Little Jack was just baking and the staff really didn't care. They would rather you stand in the sun than under the umbrellas in the line. You know, has angry eyes. Make sure we stay all the way over close to this railing. Keep your travel parties all together. Once again, they will be returning in a few minutes. They are going to go. Which got me kind of questioning, you know, how enjoyable it was for him. But I'll tell you, he had a great time anyways. We toured the entire park. He saw Buzz. He saw Woody. He saw all the characters. And to get out of the sun, we decided to take dinner at Woody's Roundup. And it was a great place to eat. The food was good. The air conditioning was great because it was very hot. And it gave us a chance to catch back up. Um, we uh, booked our, our seats ahead of time. I highly suggest that because everybody had the same idea. And yeah, it might have been a little pricey, but the uh, environment was fun. Oh man, wow. <laughs> Look at this. What do you think, man? We're in Woody's toy box. Ooh, look, at, look, 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 there's Bo Peep over there. See Bo Peep? Look, look at Bo Peep. Ballad, I'm going to bring out a Disney and the Mary's Club. The Thousand Trips, so they're going to be in. We don't have to wait two hours.
gave us a chance to get an AC for about an hour to kind of, you know, charge our batteries up to get back out there because Little Jack was ready to go. And uh, then we went over to Star Wars World and he had a good time, but he was so tired by then that he really wasn't, I mean, he doesn't know anything about Star Wars yet. He just knows Woody and Buzz and Jesse. So should you take your one and a half year old there? Will they remember it? Well, I think he had a great time. I think he knew what was going on. I know he knew Buzz and Woody and he even talked to him and waved at him. I mean, it might have been gibberish, but he knew who they were. And the look on his face was just truly magical. Uh, Grandma, we call her Baba, she, uh, she had an amazing time seeing that. We took the whole family and we were all able to have a little bonding experience. And, you know, I think it did uh, have a good a good vibe to it and we really enjoyed it so i say yes go if for you or for him and or her if she's at the same age and uh they they'll have fun i highly suggest putting a leash on them because when they take off through the crowd it's really hard to catch them they run under people's legs under things and it can be dangerous so we bought a little leash off amazon and it was worth its weight i could kind of let him run around a little bit and kind of control him and I thought it was a great idea. Samantha judged me at first for the idea, but then she bought it off Amazon, so she agreed, and she thought it was a great idea, too. So you'll see kids at Disney World on leashes, and uh, it kind of is what it is. Yeah, they don't really listen, and they just, they're really fast. <laughs> but that's all I got. I hope you go and enjoy it, and I hope you have a great time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Little Jack's channel. And he's just a little guy in a big world, and uh, he would like for you to follow his adventures as he gets older. He just turned two today. What do you think, Jack Jack? You're gonna meet Buzz. Buzz. You're gonna meet Buzz. Buzz? Buzz. Yeah, he's right there. Ready? High five. Practice your high five. Good high five. Oh, you're gonna give me. You know, I only figured out how to be a great racer because I had a great teacher, Doc Hudson. That's why I started this racing academy, so I could pay that forward to all of you. Uh, buddy? Yes, Mater? Doc wasn't the only one. Who is Lightning Man? Is it Gracie Lightning Man? Dinoco? Whoa. Fresh or Rusty? Well, hey there, here it is. Singing style. Oh, <laughs> I gotta push the button. Shoot. I knew that. You got a Woody jacket? Oh, turn up the volume. Oh, oh Jack, look at the hat. Woody's got a hat. Oh, put his hat on. Good job. I think, All right. Honestly, I think we should blow the hat. What? 